Well, as new cases of the coronavirus emerge, News 3 is reaching out to the experts to help us navigate this health crisis. It's good to hear from them so that we can ask the questions you might ask at home. And joining us now is Dr. Brian Martin, director of Eastern Virginia Medical School's Public Health Program. All right, so doctor, let me start with this. I mean, we've just, our whole newscast has been all of these events that are being canceled. And I would imagine, I have run into some people just out and about, and I would imagine people watching right now are thinking, this is an overreaction. People are freaking out. What would you say to that? The, the problem is, is that we have a very highly transmitted community virus going around and what we want to do is we want to protect everyone. We want to protect ourselves as we attend these types of events or we think about attending these types of events, but then we need to think about going home to our family and our loved ones and our friends and possibly uh, older people that we might visit and people that have chronic conditions and illnesses that are really at high risk for this. So people can actually transmit it and um, not know they're transmitting. That's, That's exactly right, yes. Okay, now people go out to the grocery store. They have to get stuff. They're thinking, I'm still going to be in a room full of a bunch of people. How do I keep myself safe while going about my everyday life? So you can't pre prevent getting in, uh, exposure to the virus. Mm -hmm. What you can do is you can prevent it getting into your body. And so that's why the preventive measures of hand washing routinely, uh, properly, so that you're doing it for at least 20 seconds. Also wiping surfaces down like keyboards and phones and uh, tablets and things like that, making sure that we're doing that and trying to kill the virus where it is. Um, making sure that we don't touch our face, in particular our nose, our mouth, and our eyes, where the virus can get into our bodies. All right, so we've just been showing some video of different services, like when you go to the gas pumps and you've got to press buttons, you know, or you go to the ATM machine, or you, so are you supposed to just be constantly just lathering yourself with the hand Antibar, sanitizer? Yeah. Ideally, what you're doing is you're mindful at all times, and so, making sure that you're washing your hands after you touch things and wiping things off and using hand sanitizer when you don't have soap and water. Those are all going to help protect you. Okay, doctor, thank you so much for that information.